China is facing a water crisis, with its northern region suffering from severe droughts and water shortages. To solve this problem, China has launched the world's largest and most expensive water diversion project, costing $62 billion, and transferring 12 trillion gallons of water from the south to the north. But how does this mega-project work? And what are its good and bad impacts on the environment and the people? You can also write your answers in the comment box below. Now, let's get into the video and watch it to find out more about China's massive project. China's diverse geography and climate zones affect the precipitation patterns and river flows through the country. China has a highly uneven distribution of water resources across its vast territory. While southern and eastern China enjoy abundant rainfall, northern and western China receive very little and are dominated by the dry continental climate. This leads to water scarcity and imbalance in the north, where water demand is high for economic growth, domestic use, and irrigation. On the other hand, the south faces frequent floods. But what causes so much uneven distribution of water? China's historical and cultural factors have played a major role in shaping population distribution and water management practices. While the north is the cradle of Chinese civilization and agriculture, the south is more diverse and fragmented. China has launched several initiatives to address its water challenges, such as the South-North Water Transfer Project, which aims to divert water from the Yangtze River in the south to the arid and industrialized north through three canal systems. The current Chinese government during early 1952, under Mao Zedong, realized the need for such a project as a significant demand for water for economic growth, domestic use, and irrigation in the north, where water resources are scarce. However, the project was delayed due to technical, financial, and political challenges. But after a long delay, the construction finally began in 2003 and is expected to be completed by 2050. The project is expected to cost $62 billion and transfer 44.8 billion cubic meters of water per year by 2050. The project has both benefits and costs for China and the Chinese, such as improving water security, supporting economic development, displacing hundreds of thousands of people, causing ecological damage, and triggering social and political conflicts. Let's discuss a brief overview of the project and its motivation. The project consists of three routes, the eastern, the central, and the western. The eastern route follows the course of the Grand Canal and pumps water from the Yangtze River to the provinces of Jiangsu, Shandong, and Hebei, and the cities of Beijing and Tianjin. The central route draws water from the Danjiangku Reservoir on the Han River, a tributary of the Yangtze, and transports it through a tunnel under the Yellow River and an aqueduct to Beijing and Tianjin. The western route plans to divert water from the upper reaches of the Yangtze and its tributaries near the Bayankala Mountain to the provinces of Qinghai, Gansu, Shanxi, Shangxi, Inner Mongolia, and Ningxia. The eastern and central routes have been completed and are operational, while the western route is still under study and faces technical and environmental challenges. The project was motivated by the uneven distribution of water resources in China, where the south has 80% of the water, but only 54% of the population and 36% of the farmland, while the north has 20% of the water, but 46% of the population and 64% of the farmland. The project aims to alleviate the water stress and imbalance in the north by transferring water from the abundant south, where the Yangtze River discharges more than 900 billion cubic meters of water per year into the sea. However, the project has been controversial and complex, with both advantages and disadvantages for China and its people. Let's look at the advantages first. Its major aim is to reduce water insecurity and vulnerability in the north enhancing economic and social development in the north, increasing the food production and irrigation efficiency, improving water quality and public health, and helping China cope with climate change impacts. But just like every coin, it also has another side too in the form of the disadvantages. It is assumed that the project will cause a displacing of hundreds of thousands of people from their homes and lands, causing ecological damage and biodiversity loss in the source and receiving regions, introducing invasive species, pathogens, and pollutants to the new basins, exacerbating water scarcity and climate change effects in the source regions, and triggering social and political conflicts over water rights, compensation, resettlement, and governance, both within China and with neighboring countries. The project is one of the most ambitious and expensive engineering projects in human history and one of the most controversial and complex water management projects in the world. 
It is important for the world's think tanks to monitor and evaluate its impacts and outcomes, and to adopt adaptive and integrated water management strategies to balance the competing water needs and interests of China and its people. Hello dear viewers, if you like this video, then do not forget to like and subscribe, I am seriously not begging for it, I know you guys will do it as responsible YouTube netizens. Thanks for watching, take care and love you. Bye.